Hey guys, welcome back to the Enchanted Rose. If you're new here, my name is Emmeline, and today I'm going to be doing the Disney quarantine Q&A tag. I saw the Leppersons here on YouTube do this tag um, a little bit ago, and I wanted to do it myself, so I'm doing it today. This tag was created by Mambarella here on YouTube, so I will link her video down below of the tag and I will link the Leppersons video of it because I really enjoyed that video and I just really enjoyed their channel. So I'm gonna stop talking for now because we've got 19 questions to answer today because you know COVID-19. Um, so let's just get in with the Disney quarantine tag. Alright, so I've got the questions right here on my phone, and I'm just gonna answer them for you guys. Number one, how many times have you watched your favorite movie during quarantine? Honestly, um, I have a few, like, favorite Disney movies, um, but all of them I've probably only watched, like, once because there's a lot there's so much to get through on disney plus like i've watched and i've watched cinderella at least once i watched all of the cinderellas actually at least once um i watched the little mermaid i watched peter pan um i watched the live action aladdin like i've watched a lot of movies during quarantine so i've only watched my favorites probably once but that's because there's just a lot and there's a lot to get through you guys you guys feel what i mean you guys understand what i mean yeah Number two, if you could be on vacation at any Disney location, which would you choose? I would probably either choose Disney World um, or the Ulani Resort in Hawaii, honestly. I, Disney World just, you know, holds a special place in my heart. It's the only Disney park that I've been to, um, but I just absolutely love it there. I feel like there's so much that I can explore there and who wouldn't want to be stuck at Disney World during quarantine? Um, and then the Ulani Resort in Hawaii, I just think it would be pretty cool to go on vacation there, especially during this time, like if I had to be stuck at that resort. I don't think I'd be complaining. <laughs> Number three, have you had to cancel slash reschedule a Disney trip? Thankfully, no. If you guys don't know, I did get engaged at Disney. I have a vlog of the engagement on this um on this channel i have a few other vlogs and like building videos and stuff because my fiance built the lightsaber and i built a droid during that trip um and then i do have like an engagement story over on my vlog channel so i'll link all those videos below if you guys want to see those but that trip um we went and then literally a few days after they announced that disney world was closing so we were very close we had very good timing <laughs> and i don't i don't know what would have happened if it did get canceled because that was pretty much the whole reason why we were going to disney so andrew could propose and to like go to disney for a few days but that was the big reason why we were going to disney so he could propose because that was my dream proposal and if it got shut down before we got to go i don't know what would have happened i don't know if i would have been engaged i probably would be engaged but just wouldn't have happened the way we wanted it to so yeah luckily we didn't have to cancel our trip number four if you could ride any disney ride right now which would you choose i would probably choose i probably have three i would choose either rise of the resistance because i haven't done that yet and i just want to do that ride um flight of passage because that's absolutely amazing and i want to go do that again or um, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Rail ugh. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Um, I got to do that on the trip that we just went on, and it was absolutely amazing. It was so adorable, and I just want to go do it again and experience all that. Number five, if you could eat at any Disney restaurant, which would you choose? I have a few favorites. Let's do let's do one from each park. How about we do that? So from Magic Kingdom, I would like to eat at Be Our Guest. I absolutely love Be Our Guest. The food there is really, really good. And just the overall feel of the restaurant. It's absolutely amazing. You literally feel like you're in the Beauty and the Beast movie. So there. Um, Animal Kingdom, I've only eaten at one restaurant and that was Tusker House and it was pretty good. So I'd want to go eat there again. If you guys have any other recommendations for Animal Kingdom, definitely let me know. Like, where do you like to eat when you're there? Um, Epcot, I would probably choose the Akershaw 
um royal banquet hall or whatever it is it's where you can meet all the princesses i know it's called like anchor anchor shaw something something um it's in norway i am in love with the stuffed pasta there it is to die for it is amazing i literally dream about this pasta um so so good love that restaurant and i love getting to meet the princesses because that's one of my favorite things to do at disney so i would eat there and then at hollywood studios i would probably eat at the sci-fi drive-in diner i believe that's what it's called um they have really good food there it, it was absolutely amazing when i went there last time and i just love like the feel of the restaurant too it was pretty cool so that's where i would eat where would you guys eat number six what disney snack are you craving right now honestly i am probably craving some lefou's brew from gaston's tavern that stuff is amazing it's another thing i dream about a lot i just dream about lefou's brew i, I really want to make that for this channel i want to do a recipe video on that i just need to do it really um so i'm kind of craving that um some churros churros are amazing um i really love the blue milk from galaxy's edge that's amazing too i want to find a recipe for that also a turkey leg really good um i i could just go on about all the snacks the um the caramel pretzel uh, pretzels the caramel popcorn in epcot i forget where it's from but it's amazing there's a lot of disney snacks i'm craving and i really wish i could have right now number seven what disney scent do you want or have in your house um disney scent i don't uh um flight of passage smells really good um pirates of the caribbean um any like food station oh forgot to put my background back I can't really think of any like good smells off the top of my head. I don't know. Um, I don't know. What do you, what are some scents that you guys like? What do you guys like? I don't know. Can't think of any. Number eight. Have you streamed onward yet? I haven't, and I honestly don't know why I haven't. I've been spending too much time watching old favorites that I haven't tried to branch out into new stuff. So I definitely need to see that. I hear it's really really good. And I, I just gotta see it. Number nine, what Disney classic movie or TV series have you reconnected with during the quarantine? I haven't watched any old series Disney wise. Um, I've been rewatching Glee um, the past few weeks. Um, an old movie though? I forget exactly what it's called. I think it's called Peter Pan Return to Neverland or something like that. It's the second Peter Pan movie. I recently, or a few weeks ago, uh, a few weeks ago i did watch that after i watched the first peter pan and i absolutely love that movie um i kind of forgot how much i love that movie so i think i definitely like reconnected with that and the second little mermaid movie um that one i've also reconnected with i love that movie too number 10 if you had to pick one disney character to, to be quarantined with who would you choose i would choose cinderella cinderella is my all-time favorite disney character um as you can see right there she's right there um so i guess i kind of am quarantined with her but yeah i just think she'd be really fun i feel like her and i would get along really well i feel like we're like basically sisters and i just think that would be a really fun time and she can help with chores number 11 would you be watching mulan if it were in theaters right now um honestly i i don't think i would I honestly was not too, too excited about the new Mulan movie. Um, Mulan uh, was never really my favorite Disney movie. I definitely wanted to see the live action, but I don't know. There was just something about it that like kind of made me want to wait for it to go on Disney+. Plus. I don't know. I just didn't really see myself going to go see that movie in theaters. I just wasn't really excited about it. And then when I heard that like they weren't gonna like go the same route as the original Mulan, like it was gonna be more based on like the actual origin story and there were gonna be no songs and stuff like that, no Mushu, it kind of really like lost my interest even more and kind of made me want to wait a little bit. I honestly don't think I would have. Andrew kind of wanted to see it, so maybe I would have if he was like, yeah, I'll go with you. Um because he liked Mulan um but yeah honestly I don't think I would have I think I would have waited and I'm I, I'm honestly still waiting for them to just put it on like they did with Onward but I don't think they're going to um number 12 have you pulled the Mulan have you cut your own hair 
Um, I gave myself a little trim. I haven't like gone too drastic though. It's probably just about like grown out by now anyway. Probably not, but cut off maybe an inch or two. But yeah, not nothing drastic. Number 13, are you feeling creative? Crafts, projects. Um, I have been feeling a little bit more creative. I haven't really done like any like crafts or anything. Um, I have been getting a little bit more creative with my makeup looks I feel like on this channel. Um, and on my TikTok, I'm kind of expanding more on that and just wanting to create like more creative video for you for you guys on this channel and my other channel. Projects I've been working on, um, and I guess this is kind of a craft. Um, I got a sewing machine for Christmas and I made my hedgehog Lulu some like little like kind of like puppy pads but they're for like hedgehogs um, to go in her carrying case just so she can like do her business on that if she's ever in there and then I have been thinking about making some mini ears um, I've made a few on my channel um, but I'm thinking of making more mini ears and I am possibly thinking about opening an Etsy shop um, so you guys heard it here first. I, 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 I'm definitely going to make an Etsy shop. I don't know when it's going to launch. I'm still trying to figure out things. Um, but that is something that I've really been inspired to do during quarantine. Number 14, if you got to have a Disney sidekick, which would you pick? I feel like Jacques and Gus Gus would be pretty good. Olaf, Tinkerbell, Pascal, maybe like BB-8, R2-D2. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of good ones. Number 15, what are you binge watching? TV show, movie series? Um, so these are non-Disney related, uh, but I've been re-watching Glee. Um, I'm almost done with Glee. Um, Andrew and I have been watching the Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, we're almost done with that also. Really it. Um, I want to get into a Disney show though. Um, so we watched like the Clone Wars and Rebels at the beginning of quarantine. Um, we've finished those. Um, we were into Star Wars for a little bit, watching some of those movies. Um, but that's really it. But I do want to, like, get into a Disney show, whether it's an old, like, Disney Channel show or something like that. I don't really know. So if you guys have any recommendations of what I should watch, definitely let me know. Number 16, what Disney character would handle quarantine best? I think... Rapunzel would because she was basically quarantined her whole life until she met Flynn um so I feel like she would um I feel like Elsa would also because she like isolated herself from everybody yeah those are probably the two number 17 if this were the work of a Disney villain which would it be oh that's a tough one I feel like it would be Mother Gothel probably um even though she's not like magical in the sense like she has like the magical flower to keep her young but I feel like she would be up to this just because like she kept Rapunzel in quarantine for her whole life um I feel like she would like do this maybe even like Maleficent like how she put like the sleeping spell on Sleeping Beauty like she like put out like a spell like the coronavirus spell yeah I don't really know though I feel like Mother Gothel like kind of does make sense I don't think yeah We'll go with her and maybe Maleficent. Number 18, what are you reading? I have been trying to get into reading. Um, I've been flip-flopping between books because I have a few books that I want to read and I'm just getting all over the place. So I was reading the, I forget what it's called, but it's the first Padme book from Star Wars. It's the first one of that. I started that. I stopped for a little bit, but I want to get back into it. Um, but yesterday I started reading You're Not Special by Megan Rinks. She's a YouTuber here on um, YouTube, obviously. And her book just came out a few weeks ago. So I started reading that last night and I'm hooked. So I think I might finish that and then I'll get to my Padme book. And then after I finish those two, I want to read the Ahsoka book because Ahsoka is one of my favorite Star Wars characters. So I really want to read that book. And then I got the new Hunger Games book. It's the like prequel about like President Snow and stuff like that. And then I want to read the second Padme book and get more into like Star Wars books. Um, I also want to read the like the Disney like the what ifs. Um, so like there's like what if Cinderella like never tried on the slipper, what if Elsa, like I don't know. There's like a lot of different ones. Like there's a lot. There, there's a Frozen one, I think there's a Beauty and the Beast one. 
Um, I think there's a Sleeping Beauty one. Those seem really, really cool. So it's like, what if, like, these things didn't happen? Like, the whatever the big changes were um, didn't happen and stuff. So I want to read those books because those seem really, really interesting and there's a lot of them. So I want to get into those too. And the last question, number 19, what Disney song best represents how you feel during the quarantine? I, I feel like it's probably like everyone's answer. Um, I haven't like watched really most of these videos. Um, but I feel like when will my life begin from Tangled? Um, I mean, you know, it's just talking about like Rapunzel's daily routine she does the same thing like over and over again she's just wondering like when did my life begin like when am I gonna be able to like do other things and that's how I feel so I feel like that definitely best represents how I feel during quarantine all right so that is it for the Disney quarantine Q&A tag if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know like what you've been doing during quarantine what have you been watching reading listening to any stuff like that. What snacks are you missing? Let me know anything that I answered in this video, what you guys are thinking. Go and check out my social media. It is always linked in the description box for you guys. So definitely go check that out so you can stay updated on um, video posts and see what's just going on in my life. I'm kind of posting like little wedding updates on there. So if you guys want to follow my wedding journey, definitely go follow the social media and go subscribe to my vlog channel. I'm going to be posting wedding videos on there. There might be a few on this channel because um, I'm going to be eventually making like some Disney Center pieces. So I think I'll probably post those videos on here. So definitely subscribe to this channel and my vlog channel if you're interested in wedding stuff. And oh yeah, I'm getting married June 11th. 2021 so yeah I'm letting you guys know that because we officially have a menu we officially have the date and everything is going really really well um so yeah go check out my vlog channel because I do talk a little bit more about wedding stuff over there that's where all that stuff is if you guys are interested definitely go check that out um so yeah I'm gonna go now and I will see you guys next time in another video bye everybody